السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دی الیکٹریکل پاور ٹرانسمیشن کورس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین وائی وولٹیج ڈسٹریبیوشن از ناٹ یونیفارم اوور سسپینشن انسولیٹر اسٹرنگ ایز وی نو دیٹ اے اسٹرنگ آف سسپینشن انسولیٹرس کنسسٹ آف اے نمبر آف پورسلین ڈسک کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز تھرو میٹیلک لنکس Consider the figure 1 which shows three disc string of suspension insulators. The porcelain portion of each disc is in between the two metal links. Therefore, each disc forms a capacitor C as shown in the figure 2. This is known as mutual capacitance or self capacitance. If there were mutual capacitance alone, then charging current would have been the same through all the discs. Because all these disks are connected in series, consequently the voltage across each unit would have been the same, such as V upon 3, as shown in the figure. However, in actual practice, capacitance also exists between metal fitting of each disk and tower or earth. This is known as shunt capacitance. Due to the shunt capacitance, charging current is not the same through all the disk of the string as shown in the figure 3. Therefore, voltage across each disk will be different. This is the reason why potential or voltage distribution is not uniform over the suspension insulator string. Due to this, the disk nearest to the line conductor will have the maximum voltage. Thus, referring to figure 3, V3 will be much more than V2 or V1. The following points may be noted regarding the potential distribution over a string of suspension insulators. The voltage impressed on a string of suspension insulators does not distribute itself uniformly across the individual disc due to the presence of shunt capacitance. The disc nearest to the conductor has maximum voltage across it. As we move towards the cross arm, the voltage across each disc goes on decreasing. The unit nearest to the conductor is under maximum electrical stress and is likely to be punctured. Therefore, some methods must be provided to equalize the potential across each unit. However, it may be noted that if the voltage impressed across the string were DC, then voltage across each unit would be the same. It is because insulator capacitances are ineffective for DC. Friends, in this lecture I have discussed the reason that why voltage distribution is not uniform over suspension insulator string. Furthermore, I have discussed what are the disadvantages of this unequal potential distribution across the suspension insulator string. That's all for today's lecture. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Friends, I upload many videos based on various topics of power system and motivation on a regular basis. Therefore, don't forget to subscribe my channel in order not to miss my latest videos. And don't forget to share my videos with your friends and class fellows so that they can also get benefit from these videos. Thank you very much.